Hey everyone, this video is going to highlight a Chrome extension called Full Screen Interactive Google Slides. What this extension does is allows you to put your Google Slides presentation in full screen mode, but while it's in editing mode. So you could do some of your activities, maybe a drag and drop full screen with the class or some other things that you wanna do while it's in editing mode so that you have access to some of these tools up here while you're actually presenting full screen. For this presentation, I don't want the kids to see what's coming up. So I don't want them to see this over here. I don't want them to be distracted by trying to count slides or see what's going on over here. And then when we get to the activity I have embedded in this presentation, I'm able to do it while in full screen mode. If you want this Chrome extension, just go to the Chrome Web Store and search for full interactive Google Slides. It'll pop up here into where your extensions fall. And when you click on it, it takes your presentation into full screen mode so you don't have those slides over here anymore. But you still have access to some of these editing tools if you need them. If you don't have the bar that comes across here to have you advance, if I just click like you normally would to advance, I'm in editing mode, so what I actually do is, if you have a mouse or a trackpad, I just drag my fingers up and it goes to the next slide. So that's how I advance from slide to slide. Another option is if I don't wanna drag my fingers up to go to the next one is I can down arrow. So if I just click the down arrow, it gets me there. Now this takes me right to my drag and drop activity I created, so I can do this whole class or I can share this presentation with a couple students in class and have them do it while everybody is watching. Almost like having students come to the front of the room and use the smart board or the active panel. So while it's here, I can have kids tell me um, verbally what to do if we're screen sharing or even if we're in class and I don't want them moving around the room. Um, I can place the events for them, or like I said, I could have a couple of kids uh, pop onto the presentation with me and manipulate and do place the events in chronological order. Now, the one thing I want to show is how do you get out of this? Well, if you go to the top of the screen, this X comes here. So you can click this X. But one thing you'll notice is I didn't get my slides back over here. I guess this is maybe like one small glitch. Some people say you can refresh. If I have a lot of slides, that might take longer. I actually like to go ahead and click right back on it and then escape or hit that X again and I get my uh, slides back. Another option, again, I just showing another um, Google Slides activity. So I can come over here. I know I have my oceans over here, but I want to, them to focus on the continents first. And just like before, I can have a couple people pop in here with me, um, or they can tell me, you know, Mrs. Cotton, move Antarctica to 11. But it's just a nice way to have some of these activities in, in what looks like present mode without having these slides over here. I hope you like this extension. Uh, it might come in handy for some of the activities you like to do in class.